Ladies, gamers, and gentlemen, my name is Bill Noir here for CrooksGaming.eu. You are on their YouTube right now, in case you haven't noticed. Game number three between Migo and Ondrasek from Landcraft Summer 2013, the biggest LAN event in the Czech and Slovak StarCraft 2 scene. Game number three gonna be taking place on Whirlwind. In the bottom right we have from Team Crooks. It's going to be the pink Zerg player Migo. Bottom left we have Ondrasek, the red Protoss player. GLHFGG HF blah 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 blah. Nobody cares. We just want to see good games. I'm just kidding. Always nice to, uh, nice to see um Nice to see. Good luck. Have fun flying in the air. Ondrasek asking, was this build better? Migo saying, no, you just got lucky. <laughs> Way to put a guy down, eh, Migo? Anyways, Ondrasek uh, opening up with a gateway on Whirlwind, which is... Well, it's debatable, you know? Um, some people still open up with a with a forge on whirlwind uh, just because it's a really big map you know and they just kind of want to have the safety of staying on those two bases for a little while longer getting those upgrades nice and early teching behind that and all that good jazz maybe taking a quick 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 third base but not really advised because uh, you would have to build two walls to defend that if you take it early enough anyways Migo opening up the exact same way so far pool and since he did see the gateway coming up and he, he sees that there is a zealot in production uh, he should be getting a gas fairly quickly here uh, now the last time around uh, the previous game we saw on Neo Planet S, um, Ondrasek did go for something very weird. Um, he opened up with double gate, three stalker, pressure into a four gate. There's the cancel on the zealot, and we will be seeing uh, probably an expansion. Drone not blocking it, so uh, Ondrasek can just go ahead and build the nexus. There we go. There we go. Good boy, Protoss. Mothership Core being chrono boosted out. I'm going to be taking care of that pesky probe, probably. Or drone. Yep, go go take take care of her. Take care of her. You need to kill. Nice micro there from Ondrashek. By the way, the APM from these guys are just crazy. 300, 200. Oh my. I would not be able to keep up with that, let me tell you. The probe finally finding the spawn position of uh of his opponent, or her opponent, or its opponent, depending on what gender you want to associate with robots. Still no gas. Still no gas for Migo. And versus a gateway opening. I mean, yeah, it's not gonna be, you know, it's not gonna be early pressure. Migo knows that there was an excess going down, or I assume he knows. Well, actually, he doesn't, but he should. He, he should suspect. Because he did see the cancel on the gateway and he didn't see any additional units being made. And wow, this is going to be a four gate follow up. Okay. Is this actually a full wall? Almost, it almost looks like a full wall. That is rather interesting, but yeah, warp gate started, sentries in production. Uh, three additional gates uh, being slapped down, and let's see where this probe is waypointed towards. It looks like it's going to try and go all the way around the map and build a proxy pylon, which would be really smart. Um, now, Ondrasek behind this, he's just going to be getting as many probes as he can. Early third gas here at the, at the natural base. Usually if you're going for a four gateway pressure, you don't want a very, very early gas because you will need those minerals to warp in those zealots once uh, once the gateway tech finishes. 
Probe's still not doing anything, still not building any pylons, but we have the Mothership Core trying to poke in, going to encounter a Queen, and we'll have to fly away. I want to get away. Never mind, three Queens defending the Mothership Core, it's going to be easy peasy. Oh my, he... Migo might even... Okay, he's not going to get it. That's good news for Ondrashek, because without that Mothership Core, you're basically putting yourself into a very bad position as a Protoss player if you choose to attack without a Mothership Core. I mean, the possibility of recalling out whenever shit gets too hot, that's just essential. Because it will prevent you from losing too much stuff. And yes, this was a full wall-off, so Ondrashek got to be killing this pylon just to be able to get out. And uh, following this up with double Stargate. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Migo really, really, really needs to scout this. But hold on, there's a gateway force moving his way of which Migo has no idea. He very wisely did leave a Zergling here to spot for any move outs, but he didn't leave a Zergling at the Watchtower and Ondrashek is taking the longer way around just, just for the fact that he probably expected a Zergling there. So right now, Ondrashek is catching Migo droning, which is not good. And this third base, you know, with good force fields here on the on the ramp, the third base might go down, but more warpins will be needed. Again, that proxy pylon a little bit late, and again, similar to wait a minute, what? Okay, so Ondrashek is pulling back, but still, okay, so he cancelled because the Overlord saw that pylon. He's still going to build it, and uh, maybe for, for uh, potential later counterattacks. He did scare the shit out of Migo, though, as Migo is producing or has produced quite a number of links. But now that the pressure force is moving back, Migo going back into droning. But three, not two, three Stargates, three Phoenixes in production at any point in time, or continuously, if you want. Migo trying to go for the same build he went for on Belshire Vestige. Just quick 1-1 one, one upgrades, infestation pit, into 2-2, two, two, fast hive, something like 10-30, 11-minute hive. Go 3-3, three, three, ultraless cavern, adrenal glands, and then just go and kill your opponent. This is a very, very, very larva-heavy style. And, um, you know, this is something that players like Lucky, players like Hyun, like to do very often in uh, their ZVPs. So maybe Migo might have taken a page out of their book. But with these Phoenixes, I think Migo is going to be caught so off guard. And there are only links. There is, there is nothing in the air to contest those Phoenixes. Or maybe on the ground, Hydras, something. Nothing of the sort. The Queens are going to be killed very quickly. And yeah, we have the engagement on the ground. Plus one air weapons even, even is finished for those Phoenixes. But unfortunately, no plus one for the Zots. So maybe with enough links, Migo might be able to hold this force off. We have only four gateways reinforcing the ground. And yeah, he is winning the ground fight. But what about the air? I mean, at this point, Ondrashek just has so many Phoenixes that he can start lifting drones left and right. He doesn't care if he loses a Phoenix here or there. Look at the drone kill count! 11, it's going up still, and he's going to be killing almost every single Overlord out on the map. Potentially supply blocking Migo, he's only one Overlord away from a supply block right now. Uh, these two will probably go down as well, more drones being lifted up. Migo trying to go for the counterattack, but Ondrashek is well defended with sentries back home. And, uh, well, he was forced to build additional overlords and queuing up even three more. That's three larvae that could have been units, that, that could have been drones, that could have been something. But it's not going to be anything. Now, on the plus side... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my, oh my goodness. Oh, oh, man. No force fields. Huge flock of lings makes it into the main base of Ondrashek. And Migo is going to just gut his probe lines, gut his mineral lines, and I think he will end this game right here, right now, as a result of that. 
And meanwhile, he's just going to continue his build. Ultralis Cavern on the way. 2-2 two, two about to finish. The main Nexus... Whoa! Narrowly will go down. Maybe, probably not. The Zerglings are going to be killed off, but... 37 probes. 21 killed by Migo. Wow, such a, such a good move. Unfortunately, not enough sentries there at the front. Fourth base going up for Migo. Phoenixes are going to be largely useless from this point on. Now, it is true, Ondrashek does have the follow-up. He does have the Void Rays on the way. But he is lacking the ground army. And quite frankly, he will never get a big enough ground army. Not any longer. With eight Ultralisks coming out, with two two upgrades, well, no, you're you're not gonna get a ground army, and you know queens queens are actually really 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 good versus void rays. They have transfuses, they're fast on creep, they have good anti-air capabilities. So as soon as the ground army is gone, if Mega produces enough queens, he's going to rule. But unfortunately for him, so far he is just relying on the spore crawlers, trying to go corruptors or maybe even mutalisks. That might be a good choice for him. So everything is being force builded around, but ultras don't care. Ultras are going to just charge through with the speed on creep. The void rays will not be able to catch them. The hive will go down though, and the infestation pit probably as well. Those phoenixes could start lifting up some more drones, but a second ultra cavern! Oh my god, look at this! Oh, no, wait a minute. I thought it was the... Oh, never mind. I, I thought he already had one elsewhere, but... Nope. A huge wall being built right now here by Ongrashek to uh, slow those ultralisks down. He doesn't want uh, Migo to go through. But meanwhile, his natural has fallen. Um, he doesn't have Hive and this is a very bad situation, but he does have those Ultralisks, and if he if he actually kills those pylons off, no more Void Rays, but he's focusing on the Nexus for the time being. There are only 28 probes remaining, the natural Nexus falls, and the Ultras are going to try and get away. I don't know how successful that will be. Meanwhile, the main base is under attack as well. Migo doesn't have a lot of resources, he doesn't have a lot of gas, um, he does have that Spire finished, but only six Mutalisks, and that's not going to be enough to kill those Void Rays off, not with those Phoenixes in the air as well. Uh, Ondrashek just might very narrowly eke out a win here. I mean, if we look at the composition, 12 Void Rays? Really? 12 Void Rays? Wow. It's going to be 10 Void Rays, but 10 Void Rays, 8 Phoenixes are still better than 2 Ultralisks and 6 Mutants. Uh, way better, in fact. So the 3-3 um, three, three just now clicked, and it is only now that Ondrashek is going to be uh, killing those Evolution Chambers off, and it's, it's a full-on base race right, right now. I mean, Migo, he has to go ahead and uh, try and kill all the buildings of his opponent before uh, before Ondrashek does, because with these Void Rays, he can do it. He can do it. There's just too many of them. Only one Queen, four Spore Clorers. Like, what is that going to do? Meanwhile, Mutas have been almost killed off by the Phoenixes. And, uh, yeah, I can, I can already tell, and I think you guys can already tell, that this is probably not going to work. Um, Migo still holding on, but I feel like he's a little bit clueless as to what to do now. Um, <laughs> but there's not much that he can do. He does have enough resources to build another hatchery somewhere if he, if he does so now, but... He doesn't have any production facilities. He doesn't have a spawning pool, he doesn't have a lair, he doesn't have a spire, nothing. And Ondrashek still remains in hold of one base, and he's got a stargate, two stargates even. So he can continue on producing void rays. He does have enough gas for that, and indeed he does. So a lot of those phoenix is actually going down. Ondrashek miss microing that heavily, but does he care at this point? No, he doesn't! He's got Void Rays! They're Imba! They're fucking Imba! They're gonna kill everything! 
Last base of Mika going down. And I think he's just... He's not even playing anymore, I don't think. I mean... Not really. He's going to try to do something here, but... Yep. That's the last hatcher you're ever gonna build, and GG is called as Ondrasek takes a second game. What a scrappy game that was as well, but... Ah. Oh. You know, I wasn't at the event, but I think Migo, especially after this game, I think he must have been very disappointed with himself, if not even angry. I know I would have been, so, I mean, <laughs> losing to Mass Void Ray, that's just, that just has to piss you off if you're a Zerg player. Ladies, gamers, and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching these series. Again, my name is Bill Noir. You can check me out on my Twitter, uh, or Facebook, or Twitch, or my YouTube, even. And uh, this was a cast for CruxGaming.eu. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, give us a like. Or, uh, you know, say something. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next game.